Alright, what's up guys? It's Watch Me SC, and I'm bringing you guys another League of Legends commentary. This time I am playing as Cho'Goth Top. This is going to be a replay analysis. So, we'll see how it goes here. And, um, yeah, I'm up against an Aurelia here. Looks like she's got a Dorans. Looks like she's gone her W first, so she's going to be dealing a lot of true damage to me here, as you can see. Taking a pretty big chunk of my health down. Um, I'm trying to harass her back a little bit, but <clears throat> she's able to activate that pretty frequently, and that's going to be painful for me. I'm trying to go in here for last hits, and she's hitting me here pretty hard, and she's pushing my lane at the same time, so looks like she went in there for a Q on me, get some more damage. I'm trying to get a few more last hits here, activate my passive, and stay in the lane. <clears throat> And you can see already some action going on down bot where they have uh, taken us down. And here she's kind of pushing me around, so I'm going to go for my pop-up. And I realize as soon as I get it, I'm like, ah, well, that's not going to be that effective against her considering her passive. <clears throat> so right off the bat, I'm like, okay, well, this lane isn't going so well. Pretty soon she's going to be pushing the creep to the tower, and that's going to cause me to lose some last hits, like right there. And I miss that one too, I think. Oh, no, it looks like I get that one. So, here I am just trying to pick up as many last hits as I can, and I realize that I'm under the tower, so I'm going to need my spikes to help me get last hits for that little bit of extra damage that I'm going to need to last hit some of these creep. See, that one I missed because I messed up my auto attack, and I couldn't get to that one. But I did manage to get that one. But I missed the cannon minion there, so let's take a look real quick. And it looks like I have 14 to her 19. She's already out farming me. Um, my health is doing okay right now, but that's only because I'm back here. Any longer engagements are going to favor her, <coughs> especially early in the game with her true damage being pretty strong and my armor is not that high see I'm trying to get last hits here using the spikes but they don't deal that much damage um, early levels they only deal a little bit so trying to go up and get that last hit but I missed it and Lee Sin is here but he exhausts her and then he miss his his skill and then Aurelia goes for the Q and it looks like she's gonna get away she has no mana there all he's gotta do is hit her and looks like he picks up the kill but I didn't even manage to hit her there so I didn't even get an assist so it wasn't really much of a benefit for me and it was actually probably a negative because I end up losing experience and last hits there. But I decide to go back. And you can see me talking about it right there. Not too happy about that exchange. <coughs> so I'm going to pick up Philstone and Boots here and make my way back to the lane. So we got versus Teemo here, a cast versus Teemo in the mid. And bot, we have uh, our Teemo and Lux. So it looks like I'm back top now. Let's focus on me, though. Because we're going to be trying to focus on what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. <clears throat> and that's wrong. Staying out, like, trying to go out there to fight her like that is not a good idea. And I used my W to make sure I got the last hits, but. I'm pushing the creep wave here, and I saw Sajani there, and I'm going to get killed here. I was pushed out a little too far, and my flash just didn't cut it for me, and the silence was probably not the skill I should have used. I probably should have used my rupture defensively there, but didn't work out so great. I really wasn't even that far. I probably should have you know, done something differently there. And here I don't think I buy anything. 
Which is probably a mistake. I should probably buy a ward. I'm thinking that I'm going to get pushed anyway, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. I'm like, well, she's going to be pushing me pretty hard here. But it ends up that she doesn't. And doesn't turn out so well for me. Like I said, this is going to be a replay analysis, and I chose this game specifically because of how the early game played out. Um, we're gonna I'll show you the late game too. Obviously I'm gonna be showing you everything here. And I'm just getting my feast stacks up here, which is good. As soon, I think that for the most part when you're playing as Cho'Goth, you want to get those stacks up early and not save them. And here, Lee Sin is going back and forth, and he's like making me think that he's going to gank, but then he like runs back. Like I don't understand what he's doing here. This is actually what was happening. This isn't a bug in the replay client. This is actually him going back and forth. So I end up pushing the lane there while I'm trying to, you know, attack her and deal damage to her. I probably should have stayed on her here because I would have been able to kill her with my ult <coughs> in a few seconds. And she was pretty low on mana. And here, I sh probably should have went for a pop-up and a feast instead of a silence there. Probably would have been a better idea for me to do that. And here I decide that I'm low, but I need to just farm up one more wave before I go back. But I end up doing it completely wrong. I m pop up the wrong creep and end up having to stay for much longer than I wanted to. And then I realize that I'm about to get ganked. So I exhaust Aurelia, but get stunned and killed. So yeah, so far I'm doing real good. I'm pushing the lane, getting ganked, not buying wards. Uh, I don't really play Cho that often, and not that that's an excuse to not buy wards and or push the lane, those things shouldn't be done regardless. And um, yeah, so this game is starting out really well, 0-2. I'm getting out farmed pretty significantly, 38 to 60. So let's take a quick look as I run back. Looks like Cass is doing pretty decently in the mid. He's got 1-0, 55 to Teemo's 28. So he's denying Teemo a little harder than Aurelia is denying me. And I missed out on a lot of creep there. <clears throat> and here I should be using my feast. And I probably shouldn't have killed those creeps so that his creep would have pushed a little farther. And here I realize that Aurelia is back. And I should have eaten that minion. I didn't, obviously. And I didn't buy a ward. But I don't think I had money for a ward then. But... Overall, like I said, this is not the best opening I've ever had. However, it does point out a few things that I wanted to talk about since the game's going kind of slow right now. Is the importance of kind of like sticking with it. Every, like when you play a game, I know how frustrating it can get when you start to lose or getting owned in your lane and your jungler's not helping you like he should and, you know, this, that, and the other thing. But the games don't end when the laning phase ends. I mean, they can be ended by that time, but they aren't necessarily ended. So here Aurelia is bringing me pretty low, and I need to flash away, and I just totally got killed almost in one go, and I didn't even deal any damage to her, and she's still in the lane pushing. And that's without any... She doesn't have any HP things, because she's just using her ult and her passive on her W. 
So Aurelia is a little bit strong. And it looks Cass picks up the kill there, but now Sajani's coming in for a gank. And flashing away. Lee Sin here, I'm watching him fight Aurelia. And it's just not going good for hi him at all. Cass trying to come in for a gank, but he doesn't go in right away, and he doesn't have enough mana, so. And she also has a ward there. Because I'm, I believe she had a ward in one of those slots. Oh, luckily the alt was missed there. Lee Sin shielding Cass. And now I go in for an eat on Aurelia. I miss my actual feast of her, but I do end up killing her. So, I did get some revenge there. And now I'm trying to push the lane as quick as I can to deny her some creep. I don't believe I deny her that many, though. Because I think Sajani comes up here to get some creep. Oh, look, I forgot I could zoom out in a little replay. So, we'll use this mode to give you guys a better view of the overall action and since I'm doing a replay and I don't have to play I'm gonna freaking lay down and lounge this is pretty sweet so here comes Sajani and she's gonna try and deny me which is fine I'm not gonna be able to kill her there without any mana so I just decide to go here and go back because I have had enough looks like not maybe I think that she's gonna push this lane here I wish I could play like this in normal game. That would be ridiculous. Oh, I would never get ganked. <laughs> but, um... So, yeah, you can see Aurelia's coming back now. She's gonna engage on me and deal, again, a large portion of my health in nearly an instant. I'm not running teleport, which is, I guess, kind of a mistake. Um, I like exhaust on him, too. It helps with his feast. You can get feast stacks up. And I'm criminally underusing my feast. I should be using it a lot more on minions to get my stacks up. That's definitely one mistake I've been making. And I'm trying to be as objective as possible. It looks like Cass going in, even though it's myself playing. But there's definitely a large amount of mistakes that I made. And that's kind of why I wanted to highlight this game, like I said because I realized that I made a bunch of mistakes and I want to point them out to you guys so hopefully you don't make them. And she's doing a really good job of denying and keeping the minions in, on her side. <clears throat> and she is a tough one to kill. One thing as Cho'Goth I've realized that you do, if you want to fight an enemy, you kind of want to fight them um, with minions around, with their minions around. See here, I had to use my exhaust, and it looks like she's going to dive me here. And I'm thinking about going for her. Since she got awfully low with that tower dive. My feast is not up, though. I am trying to scare her off here. And it looks like Sajani's right there fighting Lee Sin. And I must not have noticed that until just now. Because I totally should have been there earlier than that to help Lee Sin. That was a whiff on my part. Timo's up here. So I realized that it could potentially be a 3v1. Cast down bot ganking. And I don't see, I just see, I saw Timo there running through. So I realized that he's probably going to be going back. But I wasn't really too sure, so I was just kind of 
Just kind of stand here, let myself regen as much as possible. I'm trying to think of if I what I should do, and I decided that I should probably stay here since the minions were going to push relatively hard. Or meet, they were probably going to meet around right there. Hitting a shroom there. And again, I miss my W. I'm not, again, I haven't been playing Cho'Goth. I've been playing him a few games recently, but I do not normally use him, so. <clears throat> and she dodges my rupture there, but it works just how I intended to get me away alive. And here, top tower is going to go down because I'm not going to be able to defend it. And I didn't want to sit there and just get denied. So I figured it'd be best for me to go ahead and do that. And I was getting pretty frustrated at this point because she was pretty much just dominating me. If we look at the scoreboard, 73 to 120. Her last hits were way better than mine, and I was about to lose pretty much a whole wave of creep right here. Two waves almost. And just this whole first 20 minutes of this game were not going well for me at all. And I should have feasted that creep. Here I'm trying to chase after her, but there's no way I'm going to catch her. So... I just decide to uh decide to start last hitting here. And I took off my spikes there just because I didn't wanna push too much. Cause I was getting denied and I was already pushing, but then I realized Aurelia really is probably gone, so I turned my spikes on and realized that she was right there. I'm just trying to push these few creeps before I go. And here she comes. And she gets me. I flashed right after she used her Q, which was the right move, but I was just way too low and there's no way I was going to be able to killer there so at this point I've kind of given up on top lane um, because I am just getting absolutely decimated up there let's go ahead and fast forward this a little bit So I decided to go bottom. I'm like, I'm just going to go farm bottom because I wouldn't have made it to top anyway. And I really was just, just dominating me. So I didn't feel like it was a good use of my time to go up there and get dominated some more. And here I still, like I said, this game in the beginning, the first 20 minutes are just painful. Like, I, I don't really know what I was thinking, honestly. But... We'll see how the later game turns turns out. I don't remember exactly how it turned out, but it turned out pretty okay. Looks like Cass getting stunned there. I'm trying to hit Aurelia, but then she goes around the back. Cass going to go through the wall here, and I get stuck by the wall. I'm trying to just wait there, but... Then I end up going down, getting the silence off on Anivia. And for some reason, Anivia is trying to go down there. I don't understand that, so I get the pop up on her. And Lux hits her with her W. And we pick up the Lux kill. I use my feast on her. But I didn't get a stack. I should, like I said, I criminally underuse my feast there. But at least I participated in that battle a little bit and helped out. 
Just trying to get my farm up here. I'm not doing a very good job because I missed half those last hits. So, let's see. I'm just going to be pushing this right now. It looks like there's a little bit of an exchange going down here. I was just trying to get tower damage as much as I can. And then I see that the fight is going on. Even I know the fight's going on, but I'm trying to just push this creep wave. But then I realize that I can probably help us win this fight. I'm not sure what I do here. But I decide that since it looked like we were winning that fight, it was time for I should have been pushing the tower. And then I think I steal this Teemo kill. And cast dies. But I don't know if Cast would have been able to get that kill, honestly. And here I'm getting pushed back a little bit. Pop up there on Sajani. And some damage coming in from Lux. And I'm not that low, so I decided to go over here. And uh, feast on a minion for the first time all game. I'm like, God, I don't have any stacks. Such a small Cho'Goth. So I decided to do some feasting. Like I said, this is a replay analysis, so it's going to feature some things that aren't the most brilliant. However, my gameplay does get a little bit better. And it looks like an exchange going on in the middle. Cast pretty low here. And it looks like I'm going to be going top try and farm up because I want to catch up in last hits because Aurelia has an incredible amount more than me. <clears throat> and a team fight going on in the mid here. I think I make my way down now, yeah. Because I realize that we need to a tank here, or a tanky-ish guy. You can see my build right here. Um, I built Rod of Ages first because I was against Aurelia, and I wanted to um, make sure I had HP to survive her true damage. And I'm trying to go for a pop-up here. I think I whiff it and go for it. I think I'm use I have my feast up now and I'm saving it for Poppy because I know that she gets really tanky when she gets low on HP. I'm trying to I think I'm trying to get her here. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, here we go. I get it right here. And I feast on her because I know that her passive and or her ultimate on someone else could prevent me from doing that. So I wanted to make sure I got her right away. Her passive is the main thing that I was trying to get around. I was trying to just make sure I could deal that true damage to her through her passive's damage reduction. So that was my plan with my feast there in that team fight. And now it looks like I might be going for blue buff. Or Cass is going to pick that up, so I think I decide to go here. And I'm using my auto attacks only because I want to get my feast ready. Um, I didn't want to use my skills here and do it quicker because that would have just killed the minions. So you can see I wait. But he dies anyway because I had red buff and I didn't realize it. But I am going to go over here and feast one of these minions. And then I think I go back. So let's fast forward a little bit more. And I'm going wit's end so I can uh, be a little bit more of a threat in team fights And kind of... 
just have that much more of a presence in between cooldowns. Cho'Gath really is cooldown based. Like when your cooldowns are cooling down, you're really significantly weaker. Whereas if you have an item like Wit's End, you can just deal that much more damage in team fights. And that was pretty big whiff on my rupture there. I'm still I was using these skills on smart cast because that's just how I play. Um so that's why I missed a few of those here and there. A few is probably an understatement. Most of them is what I missed, but the ones that mattered I ca I hit. And I see again another team fight going down, so looks like our team is not going to do any stupid engages here, hopefully. And I just grabbed another feast stack up there on the golems. And what am I doing here? Teemo here. I don't feel like really dealing with it. And I see that there's some fighting going on down there. Hopefully I make my way down there. That's what I should be doing. If I'm not doing that, I should be. Looks like I just focused on the game now. And Luxalt going down. Didn't even deal that much damage to Sajani. But here I come. And she manages to get away. Again, using my ult there to feast her. Timo here, flashing away from the rupture. So, that didn't go amazingly well for our team, but it went pretty well overall. I wasn't going to be able to make it to Aurelia there, I don't think. And I decided to pick up Red Buff because it works well with Wit's End. And it just helps me stay on my targets that much more. As you can see, I'm dealing a pretty decent chunk of damage with my autos. Extra 75, almost 200 with a decent attack speed. Plus the extra 42, so about 240 or so. Probably about 225. Trying to damage Aurelia there, but she is so tanky. Ignite going down on me with almost a thousand hit points on me. Oh man. I didn't get my rupture down there. But Casty on a pretty big chunk of damage there to Anivia, who is really low. I don't know. Cass could get some kills here, I think. Uh-oh. Cass gets killed by Aurelia. Lux. Ugh. I think that was a bit my fault there for being so out of position. I got caught a little bit there. A little bit harder than I would have liked. So it looks like my next item is going to be Atma's Impaler to increase my damage and defense against Aurelia. Obviously it doesn't work against the true damage, but a decent chunk of her damage is physical. And you can see my damage now is at 65 plus 25, which is 90, plus 190 is 280, plus an extra 42 from the wit's end pretty decent chunk of damage and I seem to have come back a little bit in terms of score. I'm not getting so dominated. My last hits are coming up there. Uh, not really competing with Aurelia because she was so farmed from the beginning but I'm one of the most farmed people in the game. And we can see some jockeying for position here. And this is going to be a tough position here for us to be in. 
Aurelia going straight after Cass. And she gets him. She freaking got him. She uses her ult. Poppy uses her ult on me. And I decide to go in. And it looks like I pick up a kill there. And now I decide to turn back around. Take a bite out of Poppy there. And I have a lot of hit points left and still I'm dealing incredible amounts of damage. I was thinking about using my flash exhaust there, but I didn't want Aurelia to come back and try and come in for a kill on me. And you can see here comes Aurelia. Ah, oh, she survives with like few hit points and now Sajani comes after me. I flash away. She's got 200 health or I got 200 health left here. And I managed to survive that fight just barely. And I think it looks like I'm making my way over here to uh pick up a stack, but I didn't realize that those guys have more than a thousand hit points. I kind of face palms there. I was like, oh, they have more than a thousand hit points. So that didn't go that well, but. And here I was just like, uh, I don't know what to buy. I literally, I just had no idea what I wanted. I was like, what am I going to buy here? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Nothing seemed good, so I just got some magic resist. And yeah, let's keep it on fast forward. Aurelia's really up there dancing around. Looks like we're going for Dragon. They might be going for Baron. Looks like their Sajani was connecting on and off here and there. And let's slow it down for this team fight. It looks like we got some damage on Aurelia big time there. And here I am pushing away these two. And they picked up the Teemo. And now Poppy comes in. I don't know what she was thinking. But I was trying to get her prediction around the corner, but she used her. Uh, charge in a smart manner. I should use my feast, you dumbass. Use your feast. So now they're going for Baron. But you can see that the positioning of them is saying definitely that they know. Going in on Poppy, who does manage to get the kill, but my constant auto attacks on Poppy killed her quite quickly. I was trying to come around the wall, but Anivia placed her nice stun there. And as you can see, I'm quite tanky with just the Rod of Ages and the resistances I gain from the things that I buy. And Aurelia going in. And let's see, looks like Lee Sin got a nice stun off there. I got a pop up. Silence on almost all of them. Their Teemo is pretty low here. Taking a feast out of Anivia to put her into egg form. And it looks like Aurelia's diving us. I get another pop-up on her. Tower's hitting everyone. My auto attacks are dealing a lot of damage here. I'm going for a pop-up. And I whiff it. And I just decide to finish up these minions. And probably time for me to go back. Since they didn't end up focusing me there... That turned out well for me. And I generally notice as Cho, if you're playing against smart players, they probably won't be focusing you. And this build makes it so that if they don't focus you, they pay. They pay a lot. 200 damage every second, plus 42 magic damage, plus 105 magic damage. So, that's 
pretty significant amount of damage, not to mention 600 and 708 true damage. And, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I pick up an Abyssal here because I like to split my damage on Cho because his AP ratios are pretty good. And this really augments my strength and my abilities by um, kind of diversifying my damage and allowing me to get through all types of damage. Silence going down by Cass there. I can see I saw Aurelia dancing with Lee Sin over here, so I decided to position myself there to see if I needed to intercept anyone. Getting my 6 feet stack up there, finally. And you can see my damage is quite good. My hit points are really high for only having a few HP items, really. <clears throat> and it looks like we're setting up for an engage here. Artimo, though, pushing top. And Leeson's talking about a 4v5. But I'm taking a lot of focus here. Pop up Timo. Going to flash over the wall. And it looks like we're doing a decent amount of kiting there. And we've worn them down quite a bit. Lee Sin's still got a decent chunk of HP. I'm just trying to get mine up by eating some of these minions. Because I'm a little bit too low to go in there. Trying to get my 68 health per minion kill. Anivia about to get killed by Cass here in one shot. Don't know what Anivia was thinking. My cell phone is beeping like mad. And it looks like I'm getting hit by a shroom and Cass got killed by that shroom there. That I ran into. Oh my god, I am getting so many messages. Holy crap. Okay. Alright, so now I'm totally at a loss for what to buy. I'm like, what do I buy? What do you guys think should be bought in this situation? We can take a look at their team. 9 and 7 Aurelia. 8 and 7 Poppy. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't even remember what I do by in this situation. Oh, I think I do now, yeah. I, um... I think I buy Frozen Heart straight up. After a long amount of debating. So let's take a look at this team fight. He gets caught by himself there. And it was partially my fault because I was seriously just doing nothing at the base. But then we get two kills right off the bat. Well, not right off the bat, but right away as soon as I show up. And since we only lost Lee Sin, I decided that it might be a good idea to do um, Baron. Why is my... Okay, I was like, why is my attack damage not showing up right? Oh, it's the Baron debuff. It's the Baron debuff. So yeah, we end up getting Baron here. And since Timo pushed so hard up there, we had a safe way to get it. And I'm hitting shrooms all over the joint. Deciding to try and pick up red here. Yeah, I'm dealing about 400 damage or so per shot. Obviously, it's against the minion, but still quite a significant amount of damage. 
So let's fast forward here, and this is coming to the end of the game, so I just wanted to show you guys that if you just stick with it and play smart, even if you play dumb in the beginning or you play dumb a few times, don't let it get to your head. Especially if you're if you know you're a good player, like just stick with it and you can see that the games can turn around. That really was dominating me and dominating the top lane and I felt like she was probably gonna dominate the game. And in some senses she did. She's really strong. But I ended up dominating the game far more than she did. And they are going after Timo up top and they end up picking him up while they're all chasing me. So then I decide to go for a pop up and I whiff it. And the Anivia wall there is placed quite well, so Now it looks like we're uh, jockeying for position around this tower. Get a little bit of damage off there on Sajani, but not that much. More of my damage is going to be coming from my auto attacks with this build. I don't fe feel that it's too AD centric, because you really do want to be in there almost all the time when you're playing as Cho'Gath. Timo again, backdoor in these towers. And let's see how our Timo is doing. Six and seven, he's just doing a lot of pushing. And it looks like Poppy goes for me in here. I again save my ult to finish her off there. And the red buff, a little bit of damage, helped me out. Now here I'm just trying to make sure I can regain my health by killing a bunch of these minions with my skills. Because that's going to help me keep my sustain up. And Aurelia is unable to do it alone. So that's the end of this game. I Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This replay analysis of my terrible opening Cho'Gath, but good finish. And I'll see you guys next time. Maybe you guys want to try out this build. Let me know how it works for you. I'll see you guys next time. This is AD Cho or whatever. Watch me a see out. <laughs>